What is up you guys, it's Violet Teller here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can tell by the title of the video, this is going to be my third episode review for She-Hulk Attorney at Law. And this episode is really, really cool. I like the fact that this show is very funny and it's... It's a lot less um it's a lot less serious than a lot of the other ones. So pretty much this is gonna be a spoiler and we're gonna talk about the little end credit um scene as well. It's not really an end credit scene, it's more of like a funny little blooper kind of thing. But anyway, this episode is titled The People versus Emil Blonsky. Now, if you guys remember the last episode towards the end, she Hulk pretty much found out that Emil Blonsky has been getting out of prison. And he's been fighting Wong in Shang-Chi. So that kind of gives us a premise for where the show takes place. Because a lot of people have been thinking, where does this show take place? Obviously, it's going to be after Endgame. Because obviously, we've got Smart Hulk. But where does it take place during that part? So, I love the part at the beginning of the film. Or the beginning of the, beginning of the film. Beginning of the show. Where she hopes she's in the, she's in the car on the way to see Emil Blonsky. And I love the fact that she's like, listen. This is going to be one of those shows where there's cameos each episode even though we had bruce we had emil blonsky we had um titania i think or you know she's pretty much a villain we know we're gonna get daredevil so yeah it is pretty much one of those cameo shows <laughs> i just love the fact that she breaks the fourth wall now pretty much obviously she goes to see emil blonsky and she's like listen what the hell i'm trying to defend you and you've been breaking out of prison and stuff like that so obviously we end up finding out that Wong pretty much forced Emil out of, um, you know, to leave the prison so he could train himself. He'd have a worthy opponent to fight against. So, you know, um, during his training to become the Sorcerer Supreme. So, OK, that makes sense. Emil Blonsky is probably the closest thing to, you know, when the Hulk's not around. Um, so that made sense. That made sense. So, obviously, through this episode, She-Hulk is pretty much trying to convince um, the parole board and stuff like that. You know, that Emil's not a danger to anyone else uh, and he's free to go. So, really, really cool that we do get reporters, obviously, outside the jail. Um, or the maximum security, as it's called. You know, we get a really, really cool reference to her original origin story. Where, you know, people say to her, you know, uh, I heard you got kicked out of the Avengers. Um, is it true that you would have been having a baby? Which is one of the, like, the news um, things that her friend's reading. Uh, which is really, really cool. We also get a bit of a cool thing, like I said, about her origin. Where when she's leaving the prison, somebody says, is it true you got caught up in a mob hit and that's how you got your powers? If you guys remember the original origin for She-Hulk, obviously her being a lawyer, she would have to represent people and obviously she would have to go against the mob and stuff like that. So pretty much she got caught up in a mob hit and then Bruce gave her, her a blood transfusion of his blood. That's how we got our comic accurate She-Hulk. So I like the fact that they mentioned that in there. I like the fact that the Disney shows are slowly, slowly making like references and stuff like that to Origins. Anyway, moving us away from this, um, we do get a bit of a side story with Dennis. I believe his name is. Pretty much the guy, the guy that was an asshole in the previous episodes, um, which is part of the DA. He has an off story, which is really, really funny, by the way. He wants to get defended by somebody because he's been tricked into thinking he's dating Megan the Stallion by a Asgardian elf that can um, somewhat transform. Like a shapeshifter. Yeah, an Asgardian shapeshifting um, elf, which is really, really cool. I don't know why they put that in there, but I kind of like it. A lot of people are probably going to be triggered, but I like it. I, I do. I genuinely like it. Now, pretty much, um, Jen Walters is trying to summon Wong, because obviously he's a witness to it. So her friend, Jennifer Walters' friend, or She-Hulk's friend, ends up like posting this funny thing where she's posting like with these books. So anyway, she gets Wong's attention. He's like, listen, okay... I'll I'll be a witness to the trial, you know, I'll say exactly what he's saying is true, which it is because, you know, he pretty much pulled him from his jail to, to fight against somebody because obviously I'm assuming because the Hulk wasn't around. Um, but yeah, pretty much um, we get a bit of a, like a transition where um, we go to Dennis's court and we find out that there is an actual Asgardian elf that can actually, um, funny thing, she actually impersonates the judge um and she gets sentenced to like 60 days mandatory service because impersonating a judge is a crime so yeah we get a bit of a cool plot uh, a cool side a, a cool side plot oh 
can't get my words out. Cool side plot with that. Um, but yeah, Wong does come to the rescue. Wong says, listen, it was me. You know, I got him out of prison to help me become the Sorcerer Supreme. Yada, yada, yada. Obviously, they realise and they say to him, you do know that's a crime because you were aiding a bit in a felon. He disappears and goes off. We get a bit of a cool scene towards the end where we see the wrecking crew, which is really, really cool. I don't know where they've got these artifacts from, um, but it's really cool to see. Obviously, they don't know what they're doing with them. They attack She-Hulk and she's like, ah, and she's like, hold on a minute. I can, I can transform. I don't have to be scared anymore. What? So, yeah, that was really, really cool. Um, I'm trying to think what else happens at the end. Uh... I'm trying to think what else. Was there anything else I missed? No, it was pretty much like... It was just a, just a chilled episode, really. There wasn't really much going on. That's why there was not really much spoilers or anything like that. Now, the end um, credit slash funny scene. Pretty much, it is the real Megan Thee Stallion. And she is pretty much... Um, you know, she's pretty much just dancing with She-Hulk. Which is really, really, which is really, really weird. Because it's like... We didn't need that in there, but I'm glad they did it. Like, it's mad, like, to see She-Hulk twerking with Megan Thee Stallion. Like, it, it, <laughs> like I said, I'm loving this show. It's really, really funny. It doesn't take itself too seriously. She breaks the fourth wall to talk to the audience. I love this. This is what I would probably like from a Deadpool show. If it was, like, a, you know, a bit more obviously X-rated. But, yeah, pretty much... Again, no spoilers in this episode. Nothing really happened, so there's nothing to spoil. Just a nice chilled episode and obviously a bit more progression. We do actually see the eight wives and pen pals of Emil Bonsky, which is really, really cool. He ends up getting um, out, but obviously he's got um, he's got to wear like a tag, so he can never transform to Abomination again. Um, and pretty much, yeah, they'll, obviously they'll know he'll be immediately locked up if he does. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here, guys. Really, really love this episode. If I had to rate it, got to give it like a strong... I, I'll give it 10 out of 10. I loved it. I was I was smiling the whole time. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Also, let me know what is your favourite episode so far. One two or three anyway if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join team let's catch a vibe also if you are new please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get no as soon as i upload but more importantly don't forget to stay vibey and i'll catch you on the next she hulk Arr!